Good morning! Welcome back to Sister Summer. Today is Thursday. This week has been going by really fast, honestly. I feel like I haven't been doing much this week. I've been waking up earlier this week since Bonnaroo. I've been waking up like an hour or two earlier than usual, which is a good thing. Today I am going to get some stuff done and then I'm going to hang out with my mom. I'm gonna be volunteering with her for her adaptive yoga class that she teaches every Thursday. So that's a little bit later on today. My throat's really dry, I need to go downstairs and get some water. <laughs> I always wake up so freaking thirsty even though I go to sleep with a water, like a big thing of water right next to my bed. <laughs> Woke up today to my mom playing some Lumineers downstairs. Yes, Lisa. Yes. Squirtle's a vlog hog. That's what you are, vlog hog, vlog hog. Whenever I have the camera out, he just dives in. You're so precious. You're so precious. Look at you. You can jump high. You can jump high. I'm listening to some flume, doing some laundry and finishing unpacking from Rue. Oh, by the way, the tapestry that I got this weekend at Rue, it's hanging up, to, cause it got all wrinkly in my bag, but it looks like this. It's really, really cool. <laughs> I love it. I just took a long time to do all of that stuff, but I finished up. I pretty much started packing this big suitcase, which is going to be for Electric Forest. I wish I didn't have to take a bag this big, but I just know that I'm not gonna be able to fit like everything that I need for camping and all that stuff into that smaller bag. So um, you just need a lot for a camping festival. So I am flying to Michigan. I'm gonna be leaving a week from today and flying into Michigan. And then I'm gonna be taking a shuttle from the Grand Rapids airport to Electric Forest. I'm actually going to Forest. I'm like flying solo pretty much. I'm gonna be meeting up with, I know like three groups of people that are going, so I plan on just meeting up with them. But yeah, I'm just going alone just cause nobody in my life really wanted to like pay for it and like come on the journey, which honestly I understand. I didn't get my plane ticket until last minute. I don't think I got it until like yesterday or the day before and it was super expensive because I waited for so long, but I only waited for so long because I didn't know what my plan was going to be, but I'm still so excited. Like there was no way that I wasn't going to go to Forest this year and I'm not going to let like me not having a buddy to go with like stop me from going so i think it'll be really interesting and really fun to just be on my own I'm totally going to be meeting up with girls there and like camping with them and everything i've actually never met them before but i'm meeting up with one of my viewers who is from toronto basically for the next week i'm just going to be getting ready for that i'm going to go to project walk with my mom and help her out we're probably going to leave in about 10 minutes i'm still stay smiling i just changed into some comfy comfy leggings i'll see you in the car my mom are in the car headed to Project Walk listening to some Rolling Stones currently Rock Me Baby live Lisa said shuffle the Rolling Stones for me today <laughs> so looks like we're just hitting a little bit of traffic as expected I think Atlanta is very comparable to LA with the traffic. It is pretty much just ridiculous all the time. I'm gonna get to see Leah Gia, who I haven't seen her in probably like a year. Oh my gosh, so I'm so excited. It's gonna be great, and I'll talk to you guys later. So this is Project Walk. We just got our little setup going. We only have two girls coming to class tonight, Leah and Saba, but usually there's is there usually maybe five, six? But everyone's busy tonight, it seems. Yeah, um, but you know, they love that. When, yeah. yeah, it's better when there's less people, right? Better when there's less people. Yeah. But we just have the mats, all of our supplies, some sandbags, blankets, a little wedge right there, blocks. The last time I was here, I was with Leah Gia. Her name's just Leah, but I just like calling her Leah Gia. And so I'm gonna be with her again, and I don't think she knows that I'm coming. Just Lisa things. Do your handstand for us. Take a deep breath in as you exhale, 
let your arms come down. Turn your head to the side just briefly, and we'll bring your legs all the way together for your cobra flow. Your hands um, are going to come to your lowermost ribs. So you'll bring your elbows up. So in your cobra flow, if you can see me above your heads. So your hands are flat, palms flat, fingers wide, next to your lower ribs. So some of you might want to bring your hands down a little bit. If they're up here, it's going to be uh, too easy to bring the shoulders up into the ears. So if you bring your hands down to the ribs, and now use all of that opening that you now have at your chest. Let the inhale bring you up and the exhale to pull you longer. I look really shiny right now. Um, I got back a little bit ago from hanging out with my mom and going to help her out at her class and it was really, really good. I'm very glad that I went. I'm very glad that I got to see Leah. And yeah, it was just very casual. There was only two girls tonight, but it was really good. Now I'm hanging out for a little bit. My dad and I are going to go and get dinner. We're just going this place super casual. It's called Sweet Tomatoes. I think it's like a chain. Very casual, honestly. It's just like a salad bar and like you like serve yourself type place basically. But All right, I'm on my date with my dad. You haven't been on my vlog yet. I know I have <laughs> You have a beautiful little salad there. Yours is much healthier than mine. But we're at Sweet Tomatoes. You can start eating. I'm super hungry. We're at Sweet Tomatoes because we used to always come here. And I don't remember the last time that we came here. Like, I had to have been in high school. I don't remember. But it's been a really long time. So first you do the salad bar. This is like the Sweet Tomatoes. First you do the salad bar. Drink. And then you do like all the other food. You can basically just stuff your face here for like $14, so it's like a pretty good. Me and my dad ate more food than that. I just looked at the last clip on my camera and was like, oh shoot, I didn't finish vlogging. But I was just talking to my dad and kind of got distracted and we caught up. And then I came home and I've just been really, really tired, honestly. So I am chilling in bed. I'm watching Mark and Ethan, who are my honest to god favorite youtube vloggers you guys don't watch mark emailer i'm telling you if you like watching vlogs you will love mark and ethan's vlogs probably a lot of you guys already watch them but if you don't i'm sharing the love i'll have their link in the description box for sure they're the kind of vloggers that just really inspire me and make me just like want to be better with my content like something about them that i love so much is just is their positivity and their always uplifting attitudes um whenever i tune in i kind of binge watch their vlogs like i'll get behind and then i'll watch like two weeks of vlogs at once and it just makes me feel so good and so uplifted and so inspired mark is also just a very talented um creative filmmaker and the way he shoots the vlogs is really really cool and always just great to watch so i thought i should rave about them because they'll probably become your favorite vloggers too if you don't watch them already i'm gonna say good night because this has been a you know decently long vlog i think and i'm gonna go to sleep thank you as always for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this day i will see you guys in my next vlog i love you so much